But I wonder about this idea of our having a representation of the self-motive power, and if how that's related to. Uh, by the way, you, you didn't start it from the proper point of its origin. Mm. But go ahead. So, so. Um, Hold on a second. Oh, okay. yeah. Which microphone? So I guess I'm just. Okay. Go for it. So I'm thinking of how Proclus derives fits in. from the soul. This is the beginning of that. Why is that important? How Proclus fits in with midwifery. Hmm. Because Do you remember David's great contribution when he said, hey, you know, this word derives. He pointed out, he said, you know, that's, uh, that has modern connotations and, and uh, associations that maybe we ought to just drop them and take a look at what the Greek says. Remember? Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. remember what he said? Yeah. I, I even remember that. He, he I does, was there. Yeah. He was there. I was there when he said it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Oh, it just I think derivative is um, uh, follows in the same course in material. But I get the feeling that the word that was used um, came. Um, anyways. Um, is not Komitsai? Komitsai, yeah. Is is not derived from the same source of material, but it, it skips into somebody else's hands. It's a loan or it's something um, that was taken. Um, and 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 the, the original meaning the Homeric meaning is to, to rob a corpse of its armor. Uh, 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 to rob a rob a soldier of his armor. The soldier of his so own. it's it's there's a there's not there's not a, a corpse yeah Homer a, yeah uh, and so there's not a um, a singular line of material there's a, a break mm. and um, and um, and I think that pretty much describes the relationship between soul and body in the, in, in the hierarchy to some degree. That's, that's, if you don't mind, I'd really like you to say the same thing in other words. That's such a well-stated thing. Like in Homer, you find that he's when? When, when a, a body is being stripped of its armor. Yeah. Um, or when there's a loan made. Um, or um, some other way of attaining things that aren't your own. Uh, as opposed to derivative, which is a, con a continuous flow mm -hmm. from a, one source to another of mm -hmm. the same material. Yeah, this is an abrupt. Yeah, so the the komi, komi, yeah, okay. komi sai, something like um, that is um, not of its own origin. Mm -hmm. Pirate booty and stuff yeah, too. Not 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 not, not self or originated, mm -hmm. but entirely brought out from something else. I mean, an entirely not derived, but uh, passed over from mm -hmm. some other point. Mm -hmm. Is that is that a word that's dealing with representative or no, with derived? Mm -hmm. So the soul. Okay. It, it it derives its motion from soul. The alter motive deriving but the it's not, representation. It's not. It, yeah. It's. The alter motive derives its, its uh, right. the, the body derives its, it, it, its motion from um, its alter move and its it, it, it obtains its motion through as a as a representative of soul, but not as mm. um, an embodiment of soul. Or derivative, you're calling. Well, no, and it's not a derivative. It, it obtains it, but it's not an embodiment of it. It's, it's not. It's not of the same material. Well, I was wondering how much importance to put on the word power. Yeah, yeah like, hold that. Okay. Just a 
that's worthwhile. Yeah. But, um, it's worthwhile. Making. Right. So alter, that's alter motive. Is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. Is that the same thing as representative? Representative. That's how it becomes representative by by this um, stripping away from some other source, not its own. So motion is representative because it's been passed over, but not derived. It has it, it has it doesn't have a, a, an. A, it, it doesn't have um, um, a link, um, a solid link to the source of motion. It's not rightfully his. Yeah. It's not rightfully. Pretty much not rightfully, uh -huh. not self imbued. Self, self imbued, self imbued, depending it's on the a, language. It's an mean. image. It becomes an image. Yeah, there's image. So is there a break in energy? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, like I was watching a butterfly, and I was watching. It's like I, it's trying to figure out where it's going. You know, you never see a butterfly actually know where it's going, except for me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like they're always like, blah, blah, blah. it's like. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's an interesting. So, are you saying that the butterfly is alter motive because it doesn't know where it's going? Kind, it kind of like that. Like it's yeah. wearing the armor of another person. That doesn't quite fit or something. It, 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 it's wearing the, um, the purpose of, of, of something that it, that it doesn't have itself. So is this, so is there, is there soul in the butterfly? No, because it is rep it's, it's a representative of soul. It's an image of soul, but, but it's... Um, mm. right. And, I mean, but then where in that same paragraph, he says that because it's representative, there is soul. And he concludes, and because there is, because mm. yes. there, because because it's representative soul, because there's intelligence, it's intelligible, and because it's intelligible, it's a union. So he goes back up again, and each and and so body becomes in soul, soul becomes in noose. And noose becomes in unified. If you don't mind me making up a few words. Wait, why, so, why, why did you say that uh, it doesn't have soul? Yeah. If the butterfly doesn't have. Um, like on what basis? Well, that was just an image that it doesn't. It doesn't seem to have a purpose for where it's going. Mm. Well, I, I can see that it doesn't have. It's not self motive, but um, why is it doesn't it have soul? Um, because. Uh, whatever it has in the way of motion is something that it has captured and taken without having any understanding of why it has it. There's no intellect. There's right, no but it has soul, because soul gives motion, or representation of motion, but it doesn't participate in intellect, so... Right, and so when he goes back up, he says, and thus body does have soul, but the way body gets soul is through... Um, uh, a um, uh, absconding uh, the, the the derivative derivation yeah. the the representation the image the appearance yeah okay but so yeah all right it's hard to do because you know like you look at you know like our next door neighbor with a dog and that dog seems to know pretty much where it belongs and who it knows and so, what it does so I mean the conclusion so it's hard to tell with dogs the conclusion that, is is that all it's obvious they know where they're going yeah but can you have the, the dog has loyalty, right? Yeah. Um, so, um, has friendship. Yeah. But wait a minute, only a shadow of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's interesting. It, it, it. I don't know how you would how you would in, An image say, of it. in, say that's engendered in it. I don't know how that comes about because they're almost human qualities. You know, the last house so, I lived in, they had a dog. There was a dog there. And I almost didn't want to move out because I thought the dog loved me and needed me so much. And I mean, I just, <coughs> I, I love that dog too. But when I went back there, and when I'd come home, that dog would just make so much noise and people would go, oh, he loved you so much, right? Two weeks later, when I went back, the dog acted like he didn't even know me. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> 
that. He doesn't want me. So they have a capacity to to receive right. that that image. That image, not um, the reality. On a, 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 on a much higher level, you know, <laughs> due to whatever evolutionary process. Mm -hmm. There's this new movie coming out about the first, the domestication of the first dog. I can't wait to watch it. Wow. It'll, it'll be fun. Yeah, so like, can I ask you a question? Me, if I, you stay on track. Go ahead. I'm, if that's the case, then soul, if it, soul being self motive then if it's if the representation doesn't carry intellect or it's so it wouldn't have soul it's only a representation right. it's pretty obvious in the, in the in the paragraph that body was twice removed from intellect right but i thought in that sentence we were saying that uh, participates of a life according let's see Uh, representation of self motive power and is through and 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 through it an animal. So that would What's the it? Uh, Jim, could you get a copy of that because some people might be interested in being able to see what we're talking about. Okay. Right? right? Yes. Yeah. And I I have a question <laughs> after her. Thank you. <laughs> You know, I'm only basing this on, on that one paragraph. I, I Fully. And I've been, I'm with you. I have a question when she's done. And, and primarily on, while everybody was talking about representation, I was more curious about derived. Yeah, the derived and representation, they go together uh, in the sense that, you know, I like the derivation part because you, you talked about the stealing the booty. I really liked that. And, um, the representation is like an image, but you don't get that that stealing, that taking away uh, quality, which is the, the representation. So I like that language you used about derivation, right? Am I remembering correctly? Pretty much. I'm like, now I'm puzzling, puzzling about representation as an image. It's almost like a statue as opposed to the, the thing itself. Yeah, it's yeah. an image in water, yeah. right, or a smooth surface. Uh, or an image in water. Well, I just mean it's not well, 3D. The, the, mirror it's image, not. the mirror image has no reality either. Mm -hmm. And so um, it could be a mirror image. But, um, but I, I think we're going too far by saying that the butterfly doesn't have soul. I think it doesn't have self-motiveness. It doesn't have self-motion. But, I mean, if it has life, it has to have soul, right? I don't think so. I think life is, is, yeah. is, is entirely in the world of body. Well, and I think, I think body for Proclus, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that body for Proclus doesn't deny life and living things their vitality. Oh, thank you. what? It doesn't de deny <laughs> life and living things their vitality. <laughs> life, that, that body is... Because body can but, but, also include rocks. No, no. He's not doing that. Because doesn't he call the universe an animal? The whole universe? Um, so that would include planets and I, I think you need to look at the, how what the term animal is because I'm sure it's a living thing. So it's a, a living thing. Zoo. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's but that it's doesn't life. change your point. A, a living thing. It's an animal. Is a zoo. Is is has 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 a zoo. Zoo in it to live. To live. In, in in the text. So well, uh, I, think I think body is a, is body is a, a zoo. A living thing. But he has four categories, and the fourth category is body that is moved only, and that is without soul. The category before that Does is... Does somebody have the original? How did we know? Because I do. Pencil. I do. I have the uh, book, though. I have the original, Joe. Thank you. There you go. And Dave, the category before that... Well, this just goes back to my question, and, and Eldar, I think I'm on the same track as you. Yeah. We got it. There's, out of the four categories he lays out, the immovable, the self-motive, and then the moves others at the same time being moved, and then the moved only, my understanding is that rock is in the moved only. It's corporeal. Now that goes against what you were just saying, Eldar, and I have that same question, but sticking with what 
I understand that they have been saying rock is moved only. And I was putting, and so that's ultra motive. Where are you putting word rock? I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing that. Okay, sorry. They, you, you guys were using the example of rock. Robert used rock. Pierre I didn't, used dog. I didn't use rock. Um, but let's just say, what would you consider ultra motive? Just whatever example you want to put in ultra motive. So, uh, something that doesn't have motion and, and life, right? That's that's imparted from self motive soul. Move differently. Yeah, well, it undergoes, it suffers, and it depends upon know, primary yeah, causes. That. That's yeah. the moved only category. It's right here. Okay. Which is derives from I don't have my glasses, so it's yeah. really hard. Yeah. Um, so, okay, but just start at the top, Dave. Yeah. The immovable he, he, uh, oh. is, is intellect, the self motive is soul, and then the soul and body is moves others at the same time being moved. That's us. And then the moved only is something that we typically say doesn't have soul, like the book. So you, I understand, you, Barbara, and Pierre are putting a butterfly in the moved only category. No, I, I don't think you should go that way. I think you should just present your argument because rather than say this well, is your, your, your position. No, 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 no. Okay, present so. Present your position. Uh, I, I, with Eldar, I'm putting it in category three which is the same category we're in. But I'm not saying it participates in intellect or divine intellect or divine soul. So I'm saying that it has soul, but not intellect. And you're saying it has, well, I'm saying it has a representation of self-motivity, but you're saying it has, what, yeah, I, I put it in the third category, you put it in the fourth. I think what you're saying is that I'm de denying any nobility to life and body. <coughs> no, no, no by, by saying that it doesn't have a soul. Did you say nobility? I'm, I'm denying any nobility to, um, to, to life and body I would because say I'm saying it doesn't have a soul. Denying. What do you make of the fact that dogs likely dream? Um, well, um, I'm just going to go to the, the one above here. Uh, let's see. Um, let me go. Let's see, motion should be presented from soul. Uh, um, from which intellect, By the way, from Barbara, which intellect is uniform, soul is one, every being is whole and perfect according to its own nature, and everything secondary together with perfection in, in, in its own proper nature participates of another more excellent peculiarity from an order which is always established above it. I'm willing to go with that. I get that part. Mm -hmm. So that um, it w even in, in the realm of body, it has a nobility. It, um, uh, it uh, let's see, participates of another more excellent peculiarity from an order which is always established above it. I'm not going to take that away from it. How does, how does body get that? For that which is corporeal, being alter moved, um, borrows mm -hmm. from soul the image of self motivated motive motive power, uh, and I don't see anywhere where it says that soul in an animal in an alter moved thing is present. That, there, that that soul is present in that which is alter moved. It doesn't say that there. For that which is corporeal, being alter moved, borrows from soul an image of self motive power. He says that and the, soul. And it is through it a living thing. The power, right? Through it. He says that soul um, incorporates power. all corporeal motion. That is the mean term in between self motive and body. Uh, beg your pardon? I wasn't listening. I was trying to no process, problem. process what she was saying. Um, what I said was that he says soul incorporates all corporeal motion, and that is the mean term between. I don't know where he says that. Um, let me find it for you. You know, before you go, can I just, as you're looking, there's a couple of things that I'm conflicted with in earlier, just to read this paragraph, the ser just the sentence, 
The self-motive nature, therefore, alone, as beginning from its own energy, will move both itself and others in a secondary manner. Now, what I see in this paragraph is that he's talking about in in the intellect is essentially intellect. And the motion, if, however, this intellect is essentially intellect, what's the motion in terms of intellect, in terms of alter motive, self motive, and immovable? That's what I'm... It's immovable. It's, it's, it's immovable. It's, yes, but it has a relationship with these other motions. And the question is, what is that relationship? And that's where I was seeing that that, par that sentence is, for that which is corporeal being alter motive derives from soul the representation of self motive power. I can't jump away. I can't. I, there's a print. It's impossible for me to. Oh, I don't know what, which sentence. Move back to the top sentence. And is through and through it an animal or a living being. Now, I'm not saying I understand that, but it looks like what he's carrying is that there is some representation or image of uh, intellect, not intellect, it can't be intellect in the direct sense, but far removed, some kind of intelligence. Well, I would go, go as far as to say anybody who didn't do uh, what he was suggesting um, above, um, living a divine with divi in divine intellect, led an upright and wise life. Mm -hmm. That we could we could even include most human beings yeah. mm -hmm. in the, <laughs> yeah. in the in the realm of body. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Pierre said that as, we have access. Not being well, uh, uh, well, maybe or maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm I tried to change the subject there, and I'm sorry. Um, it's just, I don't know what your point is. One, because I don't know where the hell you're right, you're reading. You have to tell me how many lines down. Oh, I'm Because I'm sorry. not familiar with the well, text. Well, if however and, this... And I just want to say, I wish you'd get with the regular text so everybody could do what you're doing. But I've already said that, so let's move on. Okay, well, I'm in the same paragraph. I'm not changing. Yeah, but it's a different text, and it's impossible to read. Well, um, okay. I know you like small things. If, however, this intellect is essentially intellect since... Which our, line are you on? The very first paragraph. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's okay. If, however, this intellect is essentially intellect since Parmenides, indicating that the essence of intellect is the same with its intellection, denominates it divine. For he says that soul receiving a divine intellect led an upright, wise life. That's a type of soul. It's a divine intellect. And it's led... And that kind of a soul re receiving a divine intellect leads an up what right life. I don't. I think I don't soul see receives a divine intellect in any case, as far as I can tell. That the, there aren't souls that don't receive it. Soul oh, by being see. soul receives divine intellect. Oh, is that what it says? The, Not that there. Soul but I mean, there is that definition. Is that, is that sentence saying that there's a distinction between souls that are divine? And souls that are not, does that also say that? Um, well, he's talking about divine intellect, so I, he's making a distinction I'm as sorry. I see. Changing the subject. Okay. No, I think that was Regina's point. It says soul, right? What is it doing? It's receiving. Receiving a, a divine intellect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it doesn't possess it, it receives it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So therefore, it has an effect. The fact is that it permits a moral life. But is is that all all souls? Only those souls that are participating, right? In soul. Right. That's what. Okay. Are there souls that don't don't participate in intellect? Sure. And what would those be? Animals. Animals. What did he say? What did he say? Uncle Louis. Uncle Louie. Uh, Uncle Louie. He never had access to his intellect his entire life. Okay. Could, could he be, could he appear like he has intellect in that sense, representative? That, that appearance would be uh, illegitimate. It's true. It's illegitimate. It's not 
divine, that's for sure. So, but, so we're not putting him in that class. Right, so I'm seeing that there is, but does that mean he doesn't have a soul? No. So he can have a soul, but not participate or, or receive divine intellect? Right on. Okay. Can then, we put animals in that category? I, I don't know about that. <laughs> in terms of a similar kind of thinking, then, can souls that are, uh, like he puts, if, if you have, if, if a soul participates in intellect, then let's talk, that, can that be described as one that is self-motive? Sure. Can other kinds of souls that do, do not participate in intellect, there are souls that they may appear like they're some yeah, order, we won't deal with that. but they represent kind of a self-motive. That appear. Right, enough. appear like they have self-motive, yeah. but they don't. Yeah. Okay, but they, are, they still have soul, so okay. they are moved by soul. Is that the same as an alter motive? Because I thought alter motive was something that couldn't, didn't participate at all, didn't have any soul. Yeah. Well, that's another category then. Okay. Then I would say, now what would you call then those things that would be representative of the self motive power and is through it an animal? What kind of example would that be? Uh, a dog. A dog. I would, I would go along with that. Okay, I would, I'm all for that. Okay, I don't I would, know about anybody else, but see, I'm for I would, I would say at this point, David did a beautiful example of that sentence dealing with the alter motive. All right. Is there any objection anyone had to what David presented? If so, there's no problem. If there is an objection, let's hear it. I object to where he put butterfly. Um, I would say. But, pardon? I objected to where he put butterfly. Pardon me. You did what? You I, need to connect it back to his comment, though, don't you? Because that's the question that's being asked. What do you do with what he does with the sentence? We agreed on the categories. Pardon me, forget what you said. Just answer the question. Can you tell me what objection you had to what David presented? Nothing else. To the example of the butterfly being in alter motive. And here we go repeating uh, ourselves. No right? examples. The point is, I'm asking you is if you have any objection to what David presented as a way of understanding that. Not statement. the categories. I didn't hear an answer to my question. Example, yes, I had a problem. Categories, no. So I understand that you don't have any objection to what David presented as a way of understanding that sentence. Is that correct? Of the categories. Uh, no. Uh, Sorry, guys. Uh, 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 Hold it. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the nature of the corporeal, a definition of what the corporeal is. Right? As self motive that's where representing the, the and, thing is, right? um, and deriving. We're going to use the word deriving. It's in a different position. That's the, that's the sentence we're talking about, I think. Yeah. What, as far as I'm, I'm stating what the corporeal is, that's all I was asking about, I think. Mm -hmm. Where is that on the page? Can I keep it, that? It is. Um, one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen lines down for that which is corporeal. I think that's I, that. That was the, the. Oh, thirteen lines down from the beginning of that paragraph. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right across from living uh -huh. being. Mm -hmm. Well, that bracket is written. See, at this point. Yeah, that's corporeal. Sorry, go ahead. 
Chief goes back to asking you whether or not you found any objection or weakness in what David presented as a way of understanding the idea of alternative or corporeal existence. That's the question on the table. Life, life and soul, life and the world. So oh, I see. Don't do that. Yes or no? I don't know. Like what? I don't know right now. I've lost what exactly. Well, I was looking for the a sentence. A living thing for you has a soul, right? Say what? A living. It sounds like what you're saying is a living thing for you has a soul. soul? And so if that butterfly flipping around over there is alive, you're, you're objecting to the fact that I'm saying that it may have only a representation and not be self mold in any way. See, I don't know why you're trying to save the goddamn butterfly. No, I really... If you could address that. I think the only way that I can understand this is he set up categories. And, you know, and I think we agree on the categories, right? Immovable, self-motive, moved by others, and moves, moves self and moved by others, and moves uh, and moved by others only. Okay? And... I don't know if, if, if that's the exact order. We have union, Im immovable... Self move. Yeah, and the one the one is before the immovable, the yeah. intellect, right? Okay, so we we agree there. What where where do you put us? Like, um, where, what category am I in? I I'm hesitant to say, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, because some of us might be one subcategory. I'm not some of us here at all. <laughs> no, because I <laughs> because I think that. <laughs> I think that's a sarcastic. <laughs> well, there's got to be some fun in this. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. You Thank you. I, 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 I watched 20 eulogies He's making this week. Them. Yeah. And every one of them had a bit of humor. Yeah. Anybody who's trying to pursue a question, I, I okay. think. Okay. Um, and the reason I have to say that is because where I've put us is um, uh, as living beings, and therefore corporeal, having life, having whatever it is that life uh, gives us superior over, over, over rock, but that um, this life can be, um, but life itself can either be ensouled or not ensouled. Mm -hmm. And so, um, self-moved um, through that higher, that higher definition, um, Participating in divine intellect and a wise life, or uh, without that, um, just being uh, welcome to the butterfly plan. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, See, I, I, I thought that you know, soul imparting wow. life and motion gave our body the representation of being self-motive. Oh, I don't think that at all. Oh, that's not That's fair. what I thought it said, so I mean, I just got to keep reading. Apparently. Well, the corporeal has life. Mm -hmm. That's, but that's not the corporeal, but that's also the corporeal life with life. Soul. But the next line says, um, the soul being uh, self-motive participates in life according to intellect. And so, uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the animal is a zoe, there's a zoe in intellect, there's a zoe in soul, from intellect and there's a zoe uh, and there's a zoe in intellect from its proximity to the one and there's a zoe in us from our proximity to soul right so i don't think life is what's going to define um, us as unique and divine no but the the participation in divine intellect would yeah so I, I just, I, I feel like I agree with everything except where the stinking butterfly goes. Um, <laughs> Whole butterfly. How would you say that butterfly <laughs> participates in divine intellect? Uh, I think butterfly. I only think but butterfly. But the butterfly doesn't have access it's, to logos. It's sorry. pure animal, and it's twice removed from intellect. Pure animal, twice removed from intellect. So it's, it's in, it's corporeal then. Yes. But it's not a rock. Let's, 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 it's not too late. Let's, yeah, it's not a pair of um, So, See, well, where would we stand? Yeah. I think we stand uh, on, on a higher level. Yeah, but, okay, so... Than just corporeal. But the soul, 
like even Barbara said earlier, the soul by definition has to participate in intellect to doesn't, some degree. Doesn't have to. I don't think I said that. And if soul does not have to, then that's the answer to the butterfly question. That's right. Okay. It has soul, but does not participate in intellect. And I think, by the way, we could say the same thing of certain humans. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say. What, what is it that you, the, 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 if you don't mind, when you say whether we, or not wait, there wait. is an oh. ability, whether that ability yes. is being used right. or not, right. 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 one must have the ability. Whether it's functioning or not is up to all kinds of circumstances. Therefore, soul could make rational actions and yet not be participating in intellect. Like you see ants, for instance, yes. do amazing and in, things and that those just cannot cases, be attributed to. Yeah. Okay. And what nurse, you, right? But that's not participating in intellect. No. Well, can I, I ask, autokinetic self moved. Do we mean that really by of this participation in into divine intellect, self moved meaning moved by self? Right, not moved by pathologos, for example. That's I right. mean, that's, I don't know if that's really, really be called moved, but that's working with a different paradigm. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool, thank you. So really what we need to do, I and mean, it would have been helpful if Proclus had done it for us in an explicit way, is to say uh, divinity, soul, part uh, I'm sorry, intellect, soul, soul that participates in intellect, then below that soul that does not participate in intellect. But still has an ability. But still has an ability, that needs to be said. Um, and then below that body, and so forth. And then the, the true ultra motive. Yeah, the true ultra motive. The representative self motive. See, the question there really is whether or not, in the cases where we believe they do not participate in intellect, whether there are not within their experience evidence that they are participating in an intellect, such oh, as, nice. why do we suffer yeah. in a pathologos? Because we, we only suffer our, because we've been victims of we've betrayed injustice. Our, we've betrayed our logos. Mm. Right? We've betrayed our English. And they've suffered an injustice. And, and to know that you've suffered an injustice, you are touching the idea of justice. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Mm. Huh. So, then so even whales, when they're crying, I'm going to whales and dolphins. Well, that's smarter they, than us, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah anyway. <laughs> to feel have remorse to go means you have something going for yourself on a higher level. Than yeah, hmm. they, they pain about their dead Something. infant as they... See, a friend of mine, but Harry, Harry Dravidovich McGee, made a study of trees. <laughs> they cry? Yeah, he put all these electronic instruments on it, and he wanted to see whether or not there was some reaction when the trees dropped their leaves. And he, the, all the dials moved in a direction of remorse. <laughs> so therefore it looks like in autumn, all uh, trees are crying. are crying at the loss of their children, the leaves. Yeah. But yet, at that moment, they let go. They let go. Yeah. Well, they don't suffer. Though. Yeah. Now, some people disagree with that study because of the amount of voltage that was used electronically, and Jeff has a whole interest in that. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Maybe I can use a meter. <laughs> Uh, so, are you saying elephants don't feel remorse? Is that what the point of that was? It's just making fun of trees. Yeah, but so this point was about it. Oh, that's a good question. It's a remorse of something from something. And that is, they've been touched with a sense of loss. That loss can be experienced as suffering and, and injustice. At that moment, they are touching on the intellect. Okay, I, I, I want to save dogs. Okay, that's where, where, where I start. I work with dogs a lot. I used to do a lot more. So I've seen, definitely seen remorse in dogs. Sure. I've also seen a insight that has changed the dog's demeanor for the rest of his life. Sure. After being able to have accomplished something and made the, the connection to his ability to being able to do that, sure. having, you know, Raise of self-esteem in a way that you know yeah. becomes a different. So do dogs, so are dogs self-moved, yeah. or do they touch with intellect? Yeah. 
the question is whether or not that dog can teach another what they have learned. Hmm. Well, in the wolf pack, because the teaching uh, is a mark of intellect. Well, well, that's I'm, approaching. I'm going to say, yeah, they can. Yeah. Well, well, no, you know, n my stupidest dog has learned from the smarter ones how to accomplish certain tasks. Actually, a right. dolphin that had been captured and learned how to tail walk in one of those shows. Yeah. Captured because it was wounded, learned how to tail walk, and then when it was well was released, taught all of its wild buddies how to tail walk. That's kind of cool. Okay, wow. so, well, I think this is a question. So this is important. I think, I think this, this is, is a question for Charles Darwin. <laughs> well, and there, because, because Charles Darwin could prove that life has a self-preservative factor, and and um, a and that involves even evolution, mm -hmm. but it doesn't involve soul or intellect. And so you can give random. many, many, many qualities to it's life. Random, essentially random. Random and 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 survival or something. Yeah. Um, you can give many, many qualities to a living thing that allow it to do what it does all around us, and still um, not be insulted. That's right. Well, okay. no, the insult because because life has a a a, a, vita a, a capacity uh, that. Mirrors is the representative of what that's, soul is capable of doing. Yeah, but that's right. Capable mm -hmm. of doing. It doesn't say it doesn't have soul. I, I that's so you, you exactly the opposite <laughs> to what I just said. I know. And I'm saying that it does have soul. It's a question of whether it has a self motive aspect to it. Well, and it, also it has an intellect. I, I think that's a, what? What do you mean by soul? What do you mean by soul? What, what do I mean by soul? Yes. What must what what must it contain in order to be called a soul? <laughs> and if you have a human soul, what must be there for it is to function humanly? Intellect. What else? Uh, it doesn't have intellect, by the way. It participates in intellect. Um, has Usia see, see quality? I don't know what else. I don't okay. know. Those would be my answers. It usually describes as there has to be an impetitive desire and, and reason in order to have soul. Mm. Is that intellect? No, it's not intellect. Oh. Reason is not intellect. Oh, what? Reason is a is the ability to follow logical models and come to conclusions that do, that, that do not entail the direct participation in it. Okay. So then the soul has reason, it can participate in intellect, and it has an appetitive. And desire. And desire. And kind now, of a rulership. With that, could you then restate the point? Rulership. Okay. Mastery. You want to mastery in that? Keep being able to teach? I mean, so that's Rulership. Yeah. Well, then the subject has changed. We're yeah. saying that all animals don't have souls. Unless you're willing to say that something still exists within the individual particular animal without the power of reasoning. Yeah, it may, it may touch on an image of it, since that's essential in all of these discussions. If it touches, okay, so, well, that changes what we just agreed on, so. Yeah, that's why I thought it'd be interesting to add it. Well, good, I'm glad you're adding it. I don't quite know what your purpose of, okay, fine, you're adding it. So what am I supposed to do with it? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, let's see, you just added something. So that changes it. So that means that all animals don't have souls in the way that we just described. I would say yes, I way, would agree. Please, in the way in which we describe the human soul. I would agree. Thank you. So, I, what's, I, so does that mean or keep them from having a soul? Or is it that they 
that there is a particular that the soul that the human has uh, is of such a nature that it is Presupp different. Presupposes a faculty which can be exercised called mind. Okay, fine. I, I, what is what? Now we're talking about whether a dog has a soul. Do they have a soul? Pardon? Different, of course, from humans. We're right? right. disagreeing. Yeah, that's where you can say yes. But what is it they have that makes it a? What is it that they have? What would you describe them as, as having? Since we already see well, what humans see, have. See, yeah. It goes back to that it's same breath, same you know, issue, whether or not they can touch, chill, right? They breath, can touch on what is rational, but yet not function through the faculty yeah. of reason, but can rep can have a representation of it, can borrow from the soul. That's the language we're using. But yeah, I, I just like it for an example. Like, what would be like a loyalty to dogs? Loyalty, loyalty would be a representation. Yeah. Dogs have a loyalty to masters, they're, but they yeah. don't have a reason for why they're doing it, or that they can reason. Uh, yes, they might have a reason. Like with all the loyalty, the, the dog may be loyal to a totally unjust master. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And, and that loyalty extends to other dogs, because originally the loyalty was to the pack and to the leader of the pack. Yeah. So originally. that's 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 yeah. part of uh, Zoe. Right. Right. Um, I used to but, tell my students I didn't drag much philosophy into my class. I mean, it was there, but but I used to tell them. You know, a human being's the only thing that can reflect on itself without using a mirror. Okay. Mm. You know, and, and I think that's true. Um, um, most animals that I know of don't reflect on themselves uh, mm -hmm. in the way that it, with the, with the Yeah, ability. what do you mean by that? Mean by reflect? Reflect, which means to 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 self-examination, question, wonder, and and uh, explore the sure. nature of what they are. Sure. Right. Uh, and and there's no other animal that sits around wondering why it's doing what it's doing. Who's questioning this? I'm not. You know, I um, think it's interesting that there's, I think it's great, but the, I thought the question was whether there were certain kinds of represent, what was represent, what kinds of things represent, would be representative of self-motive power, and you brought up, well, that animals have it, because of they, of the loyalty. Or because, but they are without reason, and they are without self-reflection. So okay. all the things that are part of a human soul, we would, or I would say, a lot of humans don't have those qualities either. But Definitely. that that in, but that is part of a human soul, whether they use it or not. That's right. They, they must have the ability, ability to have that, or the capacity for something because of some organic function. Right. Right. But. But animals, on, on those like butterflies, I guess, don't have that ability or capacity to, to do that, way. to function on the level of a human soul. Or if they did, we would invite them for class. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> how is, but given that, you're, then we can say, Have you ever gotten a dog given stone? that, <coughs> they become we can very say reflective. then they are either alter motive <laughs> or alter motive life because okay. Because the true alter motive, he talks about true alter motive as literally something that wouldn't even have soul. Right. Uh, pardon me, again. It's, uh, again. Your use of the word soul. But well. That isn't important at this point. Well, that animals are loyal, but a rock is not loyal. It doesn't have that capacity, does it? Only pet rocks. Okay. One thing I just I want to throw one comment here. I want I want to throw one comment in it and pick it up next time. I would like to see Proclus, and maybe he does, but I would like to see him talk about how soul operates when it is in body as opposed to when it is out of the body. <laughs> yeah, that's good. and that is a good question to ask also of animals. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's the data. Okay, good. That is the Phaedo, right? Yeah. Phaedo. Also mentioned in Phaedrus, but... Uh, and Phaedrus. Right? But the point is, I know plenty of people who have written about getting out of body, humans, and 
they see their pets out of their body as well and have conversations with them. Now, can the oh, pet... That's just a bad trick. Wait, wait, wait. Can it, <laughs> if that's true, it's just a big if, okay? If you accept that, is it possible for that animal's soul, once it's out of body, sure. to now self-reflect? Sure. But it cannot do it at when it's in the cat body. That's right. I'd like to see Proclus talk about oh, that. No. No. Thank you, guys. Thank you, oh, boy. Thank you. Girl, too. Girl, I haven't been on a Saturday in a while, but it was good. I mean, that's the problem, you know, with Christianity. You know, they sing hymns instead of hers. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, and then right. at the end of prayers, they don't.